Okay, here we go with turn one. As mentioned in the previous video, this is the first room that they've entered. Um, in here they've got two goblins, they've got a, an empty bookcase, and two sacks of grain of some kind. So because it's a room, I've got to draw a spell card. And the spell card that's come out is Sleep. This spell puts any one hero into a deep sleep. A sleeping hero is unable to move, attack or defend himself. The spell can be broken immediately or on a future turn by the hero rolling one red dice for each of his mind points. If a six is rolled, the spell is broken. So the spell is going to go on the Barbarian because he's the first one to go. And the Barbarian's mind points are two. So he gets to roll two red dice. So he needs to get a six or more. Not a six on one of these. And he's done it. So the spell has been broken straight away. And because it's been broken straight away, he can actually get to use his turn. So he rolls two dice for movement. And he's rolled seven. So this isn't counted as a space, and they can only move in straight lines, they cannot move diagonally. So he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, he's going to go there for 5, and he's going to attack that goblin. So the barbarian gets 3 dice to attack, and the goblin only gets two dice to defence and he's got a body point of one so he's only got to get one hit and he scored three hits and the goblin can't defend that because he's only got two dice to defend it so he's gone goblin is dead so that's a good start by the heroes so the next one to move will be the elf and she's rolled an eight so she's got one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can't attack diagonally unless you have a staff. That's one of the weapons that now enables you to attack diagonally, but they can't. So the elf has got two dice to attack. So she's got to try and get a hit on this goblin. And she's got one hit. The goblin gets two dice to defend. And he doesn't. What he needed to, to defend was get a black shield, but he got a white one, so he didn't defend it. That one doesn't count. So the goblin is dead. So that's a good start from the heroes. And because they've vacated, there is the wizard with his newly re glued staff. So it's the dwarf to go next. And he's rolled a seven. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And he is going to search for treasure. And the card we have brought up is gold. You find a loose stone behind which is hidden a small leather pouch wrapped in an old rag. You look inside the pouch and find 50 gold coins. Record the money on the back of your character sheet and return this card to the treasure pile. So the dwarf has got 50 gold coins. I will put that on the sheet at the end of this video. And we now have just the wizard to go. And he scored a 6. He's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six and he's going to say I'm searching for traps but there are no traps in this room hey eh? sorry for me shouting out there I had someone calling me from downstairs um, so anyway that's um, the end of the first go what will happen next is they will open this door probably on the next video and we we'll get to see what is behind the door so I'll just give you a quick run through and 
I'll show you the little goblins. I've already done a video of these guys. So, until the next video, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.